is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Uh, the what is it, the twentieth? Twentieth? John, is it the twentieth? Yeah. Yeah, it's Wednesday the twentieth. Got our live show in Austin tomorrow. Another sold out show. We have sold out all of our shows so far. We so we got Austin, Dallas, and Houston all sold out. Tomorrow's show is gonna be with the magicians, uh, Wes Barker and Chris Ramsey. I can't wait to see that. I mean, I can't wait to be there, I guess. I'm not gonna get a chance to talk or anything, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Eli at the show the other night, he uh, made the joke where like, anytime I talk, everyone just erupts in, in clapping and cheering. And so I definitely didn't get to talk, Eli, fuck you. <laughs> it was a good time. I just, I fucking, I, I'm getting used to being in front of a crowd, I guess, after that one. I'm just not used to speaking socially, doing stuff like that. I just did an ad, one of my last ones I need to do for the month. I did a video about a hostage situation and a lady shoving fentanyl in an officer's face in an elevator. So I got a little bit of time on my hands. I think I'm gonna watch some TV with John, maybe build some Legos. I still got my Dune Lego set I need to build. Actually, I take that back. I still have fan mail I need to go through and send letters to people. Like I showed you guys, I've been trying to send letters to everyone who uh, sends me something. Shout out to Echelon Energy. They sent me a bunch of stuff. Hell yeah, brother. I just had, this is, this is so weird. I just had the two letters that I've opened so far, both of them sent me patches for Customs and Border Patrol field operations. How wild is that, man? They don't have the same last name. They don't know each other. So thank you to uh, Esther and Miguel for sending me your patches. That's, that's so random. Uh-oh, we got a thumb drive. I'm sorry guys, but I'm not plugging that into anything that I own. All right, let's see what's in it. Okay, it looks like this is body camera footage from an officer-involved shooting. You know, of course I can't tell you who it's from, but I'm still not plugging that into a computer. I'm gonna hit the dude up via email and see if I can uh, download it, Dropbox or something, scan it first. Huh. Yeah, I'm sitting here doing all my letters. I finally got something that a P.O. box that I was waiting for forever. It's the French version of the Magic the Gathering card that is Delay. <laughs> this is my favorite Magic card ever. For a cool 20 bucks, you can have your own retard. Okay, Jeff is awesome. He made refrigerator magnets that are 50 cals for Brandon, myself, Demolition Matt and Heather, the Bitter Barista. Thanks, Jeff. Heather's screaming in the other room. She's doing her stream with Alexandra. They play scary games and she screams. I wanted to show you guys some stickers that someone sent me. This is from Hype Haven Stickers. They're pretty funny. Hype Haven Stickers sent me this. <laughs> it's a very dangerous acorn. They have really cool stickers. Thanks, guys. Just screaming. No big deal. Normal day in the house. Just Heather screaming that she's getting murdered. Yo, shout out to Kyle from Trappers Outdoors, man. Thank you for the very kind letter. He wrote me a nice one. So appreciate you, Kyle. Thanks so much, buddy. Bro, what in the hell did you send me? George Floyd Creepy Pastas Volume 1, 50 plus breathtaking horror story. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, what do you want me to do with this? I mean, it's going on my bookshelf. I'll read it, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, the Crispy Donut community sent me some amazing patches, stickers, all sorts of stuff. They said smell the knife. So that's what's gonna happen right now. I hope it's not shit. Did someone did someone shove it up their butt? Okay, I'm gonna take it out of plastic. Smells like mechanics grease or something. I don't know. It smells like they manufactured it. Hopefully that's not anyone's ass I'm sitting here smelling. Jesus. All right, last item of the night that I was going through. What the hell is this, John? Mr. Beast sent something. 
All right, it's a wooden box. That's nicely packaged. Yeah, you are one of the first people in the world to try our brand new Feastable Chocolate formula. Spent the last year working with the world's best food scientists, going through hundreds of different formulas and conducting tests with thousands of people to figure out how I can improve our chocolate taste. And I am super excited to finally share it with you. Let me know what you think, Jimmy. Yeah, thanks, so, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's a little light down there and everything. Mm. Okay, that's kind of neat. All right, you want, you want to try one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully it's not poison from some random person who's acting like Mr. Beast. All right, here you go. Take a bit. Take a bit. Mm -hmm. Take a bit. Mm -hmm. That's chocolate. Mmm, that's pretty solid. Definitely chocolate. Thanks, Jimmy. We're watching Louder Milk right now. It's a very funny show. All right, guys. I finished. I finally finished. Look. Get about 30 letters to go out tomorrow. Handwritten. Cheese. Cheese is here also. She appreciates everything. The last package that I opened though, the last package, this is awesome, was the Sandusi. It was the Dune 2 popcorn bucket, which is going in the background of all my videos now. I finally got it. And I really, 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 really don't understand how the f they thought this would be a good popcorn bucket. Because you're going to lose all your popcorn going into it. Oh god, I can't get my hand out. Alright, well, f well, I'm stuck now. Corey. Today is exciting. We're going to go do our Austin show. We're all at the Unsub House. We're about to jump on. We rented a little bus. Our friend Tony, I don't, even, I don't know if you remember him from the ghost hunt. Tony. The guy that was walking around in the dark, scaring the shit out of us, he was our driver. He's gonna come pick us up. We're gonna go to Austin. We're gonna have an awesome unsubscribe show. We got our t-shirts ready. We're taking all this with us. We're gonna sell some shirts. We got a dog now. Unsub dog. Unsub dog. Connor's dog, Bo. He's the best boy in the world. He's a stupid idiot. He's a dumb idiot, but we love him. We love him. Nick, you ready for it, bud? Yeah. Oh, All right, here we go. Dave, Come. Ready? good to go? Come! Come! All right, ah, it's gonna be a good show. We got Tony from the Ghost Hunt driving us. My oh boy, Tony. Oh, we got Tony driving. Mel Hanks way back. King Trout. Great, one of my edamame husks. I didn't understand how they work. Soy boy. Edamame's just soybeans, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, soy boy. Yeah, Connor. <laughs> I completely ate one of my. Can I spit in Connor's mouth? Yeah, technically. Technically, I spit in Connor's Did mouth. Did you just call him Soy Boy because you ate the soy skin after he ate the fucking insides of it first? You can't judge me. You can't play that off like a car. You, he ate the beans. I ate the skin he spit out. Up the Have leftovers. you seen There's Cody? No He's a very handsome man. I'd eat his spit any day of the week. You sat in the chair in the corner of the hotel room, watched him eat the edamame, and then cleaned up what was left. Dude, I'm the edamame cook. We're on the way up to. Austin right now. We're gonna stop by Boosie's though. You, you can't go to Austin without stopping by Boosie's. Stop saying it like that, Cody. It's Boosie's, Jake. It's, it's Boosie's. It's a goddamn institution. <laughs> Nick <laughs> and Sho and Dave have never been to Boosie's before. Oh, the food is so good. And everyone's recording. Ah, <laughs> recording you. Ah. Recording you. Boosie's. <laughs> All right, back to Austin. Back to Austin with Tony. Oh, yeah. Or Grant. You got a foot? hot nut at Bussies to put in his mouth? Mm-hmm. You got to oh, treat the Bussies nice. Yes. Delicious. Treat he the actually bussy creeps nice. them out of his beaver Bussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Cross the line. <laughs> you found those in the bathroom, too? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're in Austin for a live show. I didn't know it was on 6th Street. I hate 6th Street. Uh, I hate this place. I hate this town. I did, a sh I did a shooting here, like, I don't know, a month ago, on the main channel. Cody, you really gotta say shooting video. <laughs> I, did, I did a shooting video here like a month ago. Yes. But it looks like a really cool venue. I do not know Nick, how do you feel about Austin so far? Oh, bro, uh, when, when I figured out we were doing lives, uh, this is what I originally intended. The last show, I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm feeling pretty whelmed right about now. All right, Nick doesn't know about Austin. Oh, no, Austin, the city of sucks. <clears throat> this is the shittiest place I've been to outside of California and maybe in my entire life. It's terrible. Uh, Double vlog. Always ready for this? Yeah, always. 
More vlogs. I don't know where the other half of the yeah. podcast is, but it's fine. Show Trey, how you feeling? Huh? Show for us. Show you for us. drug Show me into one. this. I know, but you, yeah, you, after you, the first one, you still have fun. Yeah, it was fun. This one's easier, time. isn't it? It was a good time. This one's easier? Yeah. You're way, yes, more, yes. way more relaxed. This one's easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By Dallas, we're going to just be owning this thing. <laughs> so, 514201, there, this is completely random. There's no way that I could have predicted this. You chose random numbers, is that correct? That's right. You know, here's the thing about numbers. If you know about numerology, we we choose things uh, based on like intuition. They have like meaning to them. You ever hear this shit? You sound like my ass. Yeah. <laughs> we choose these numbers for a reason, even though they seem random. And I think you chose this for a reason because if you if you flip this upside down. <laughs> I got a good haul at last night's show. I just want to thank everyone for coming out. I got all sorts of patches. I got a Mark Safe from the ATF today. Someone gave me a bacon pasta recipe, handwritten. Thank you so much, sir. It's a good time. It was a good time. What are you doing, Trout? We're training. We're training. We're training for when the time comes. You find yourself in a self-defense situation, you gotta be carrying these. We got throwing knives, we got a tomahawk, and we got some ninja stars. All right. You catch yourself in a, in a back alley, all right? Somebody threatens you. And most people are gonna be, they're pulling out their gun. No, okay? You can be convicted. You can be convicted, all right? Texas law, Texas state law says, maybe, that if you hit somebody with a sharp piece of metal, you can't go to prison. That's a fact. And nobody's expecting that, all right? See that intruder down there? He's intruded my alley. My alley is my home. I'm homeless. Have I'm homeless and I'm scared. That's your curtilage. <laughs> exactly. Castle doctrine. Ninja castle. Japanese castle. We're hitting them with stars, dude. Don't worry about whether or not they bounce off. That's not important. You don't even have to hit them. It's all about threatening them. <laughs> that guy's terrified. All right. Stop resisting. <laughs> Stop resisting. Stop resisting! They're not going anywhere. They're still resisting! Hey. I don't know where his throat is, but I'm putting my knee on it. <laughs> it's proper policing, my boy. We got our Houston show fucking tomorrow. We got the Dallas show after that, and then we won't have to do any live shows until uh, the fall, the fall time. So thanks, Eli, for stressing me out for goddamn two weeks. <laughs> no, we're happy to do it, man. We're happy to have our audience. We're really excited. Last night was fun. Last night was fun. But for now, myself and King Trout go out. We're gonna relax today. We're gonna find an outdoor patio somewhere just have a couple beers and just get ready for tomorrow. I don't do well with crowds, but so far it's going well. Thanks for watching all my bullshit, guys. All right, here we go. Houston, right? Houston and Dallas? Yep, Houston in two, and Dallas. In two days. Ugh, every great adventure starts in an airport, boys. You know that. Brandon, how's yes. Congress? Um, it's a weird double life, I'll tell you that. It's <laughs> going from meeting with state officials and doing rallies to saying come on stage. Eli got his f***ing tickets on Southwest. First world problems, boys. First world problems. Just got to Houston. F*** me, dude. We didn't check in any guns, so none of us are carrying. I hope no one kills us tonight, but I'm gonna head down now. We still got, shit, it's only four o'clock. The show, I thought the show was gonna start at seven like the other ones, or 6.30ish. So I'll start until nine. So I got about five hours of hanging out. Ugh. Wish me luck, boys. Just wish me fucking luck. Also, by the way, I haven't seen my vlog editor, Tyler, who ran the skate shop initially. I haven't seen him in years. Tyler, thank you for editing this video. So it'll be a good time. I get to see him. I flew him up. All right. Let's do this, man. We're in Atlanta, Texas, so we'll see what happens. Dude, I really just want to go back home and work out and sleep for like a week 
I know, best job I ever had. First world problems, right, guys? Old uh, King Trout keeps telling me I'm, I'm allowed to have problems. And uh, I love that man. If you guys don't follow King Trout, please check him out. He's the bestest boy. But this is hilarious. <laughs> the old dirty bathroom. Uh, the show starts here in a couple of hours. We're just gonna pace ourselves, eat some food, eat some pizza. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> we just met up with uh, Jack Manville and Caleb Francis in the lobby of the hotel. They're gonna be on tonight's show. All right, we'll see what happens, boys and girls. <laughs> this is so awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, that's much. awesome. I'm gonna f it. Yeah, yeah, you should, dude, as a thank you. Well, we're in the brewery right now. We're about to go on here in a couple minutes. Oh, here we go. Hi, Eli. How you feel, Cody? <laughs> I hate my life, Eli. Eli Thank Scott, Scott yeah. drunk. Yeah, thanks for everything. You're welcome. I just, <laughs> you know, I knew what you wanted. I knew you wanted to uh, just tour the world, do live shows. You love live audiences. Just like I me. love live audiences. <laughs> Us being extroverts, we just thrive in this environment. <laughs> we thrive in environments like this. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, how does it go up? Huh? How does it go up? You're going to switch here? And then you do this. Oh no. Uh, you can change it. Oh, this is a good BTS. <laughs> now fiddle with the light. Fiddle with the light. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, <right? laughs> what even is this <laughs> shit box? That's a meme. How much money did he spend on those things? Somebody needs to take like a photo of it and make it a meme. Eli, what even is that? It's spinning. <laughs> I have no idea. Rich is like active duty. Here I go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Nick, you looking good, my boy. Oh God, thank you. <laughs> Just landed the space shuttle. You know, no big deal. No big deal, <laughs> no big deal. Rich! Yes! I love you. Jesus, you fucking amateur. <laughs> you could have just licked it off like a grown adult. <laughs> uh, first of all, what's in the hallway? I'm going to when I'm 17. Who is Paul? Who is 17? Next time somebody asks you that question, you know that Joe Pesci meme where he's like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? Yeah, that is the ugliest goddamn Hellcat I've ever seen in my life. The Mercedes, what is that, Rolls Royce? Got that pearl, that pearl shit. Who is here? There must be a bunch of rappers staying here or something. There's another Mercedes. Got this Corvette. Huh. Huh. We got Brandon Herrera, King Trout, G Van, the podcast editor boy. There you go. <laughs> some lunch and then head home. I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs>